to the Montclair Senior of the Month interview. This month's interview is Josie Zeman. Hi, Josie. Hi. Josie, you've been a New Jersey girl for a long time. Yes, I have. 77 years. And where were you born? Long Branch. Okay, so how did you get to Montclair? It's a long story. When I retired about 12 years ago, <clears throat> I wanted to change. And I had family who were moving here from California, and I thought, okay, I'll try Montclair. So you're one of the lucky ones who came here when your family was relocating, so now you have a couple of generations in town, don't yes, you? Yes, we do. I have a 17-year-old granddaughter and some young grandchildren. The boys, our twins, are five and entering public school kindergarten this fall. And my young granddaughter is still at the pre-K at the synagogue. So you're going to have kids, grandkids, who go through the Montclair Public Schools? Yes, indeed. And it will be a good experience, I can assure you. Oh, yes. My oldest one is now in the high school. And oh. she's been all through the public schools. So, Josie, I know you're one of those wonderful seniors in town who takes advantage of all the things we offer. So what are some of the programs that you've taken advantage that you think other people should actually know about? Uh, I don't have a car. So I am a big user of the senior discount for taxis. And I tell all my friends who complain they have a problem getting around what a good arrangement it is. Um, I have uh, the discount at the Y as a senior. I'm to think what other I think main something about the pool, right? Oh, yes, the outdoor pool class in the summer at Mountainside, we get a special arrangement, mm -hmm. which is very helpful. And there was one other, but I, I can't think what the... Oh, and I've used a lot of the vans and the senior bus. And also, if there's a doctor's appointment, there's the medical one that will take you places. So there's a lot of good options. Plus, I am living in a subsidized senior building. Which one is it? Uh, first Montclair House, okay. which has turned out to be a wonderful place to live. So there's a senior-friendly community in Montclair. Oh, yes, absolutely. Terrific. We're so glad to hear that. Now, you mentioned some of the things that you've been interested in and all the transportation you need. So let's talk about the YMCA. I know you take advantage of their senior programs. What is it you do at the YMCA? The Y is both a terrific place for me to get some exercise, which all the seniors need, and it provides a social life as well. And both are equally important. I do classes in the morning because I'm a morning person. I do aerobics. I do Zumba. I do some stretching and weights. And then many times there's a program in the morning geared to seniors. We also have a very popular book group that meets once a month. And I am the informal leader of that book group. Okay. Does that mean you pick the books? I pick them from a list supplied by the library oh, okay. where they have them in bulk for us. So the big advantage is nobody has to go out and find a book. We get it in a bulk and we hand it out. Terrific. And you lead the discussion? Yes, because somebody has to keep order. Okay, well, you know, the Surgeon General has told us some of the things that are needed to keep ourselves vital mm. as we grow older. And you're doing all the right things, exercising, keeping your brain active and reaching out to people, which is very yeah. important. Now, I happen to know that you're also a writer. Yes. And that your career was in writing. Yes. So what does writing mean to you? Writing is a very good way of self-expression. It allows you, in many cases, to explore the past and compare it to where you are now. It teaches you what's important to you throughout your life. And uh, I belong to the Montclair Write Group, where you bring some of your own writings, read them aloud to others, and get back feedback and some critique. So that's, that's a little helpful. risky, huh? It's helpful most <laughs> of the time. Good. So not only do you use the Y and the pool, but you also use the Montclair Public Library. Yes. That's we meet terrific. at the library. And I know that you were in a writing competition at the county level not too long ago. Yes, I was. I got honorable mention for a piece I wrote about my favorite grandfather, who was a great storyteller. 
And obviously you've gotten some of his genes. Maybe that's right. That's where it came from. So what is what is the thing that keeps you going? What is the lesson that you've learned over your life that is the thing you would call your mantra? What keeps you going? I'm a big believer in friendship. The friends you pick help you in life with many crises. I'm blessed to have family here in town and to watch the children grow up. That's very important. Important. And I keep up with people I have known all over the country, either through email or phone calls sometimes late at night because one good friend's out in California, so I have to be aware of the time difference. Mm -hmm. um, but the people who you find in life and who stay with you are very important. I also know you're an animal lover. Oh, yes. And what kind of animals? <laughs> I've always had a cat. Okay. Sometimes three or four. Oh my goodness. In a small apartment? In an apartment. Oh wow. Uh, these days uh, we have rules in the buildings. I have one cat. Her name is Summer. So when they say summer is ending, I say not in my house. Uh. <laughs> and uh, I wait on her hand and foot. Okay. But she is more than just an animal. She's obviously a companion. Yes. I always say if I had to walk in and there was nothing alive there, It'd be very depressing. So, yes, she's a, an active little character. Wonderful. So what are your plans for the future, and how does Montclair fit into them? I love living in Montclair. The senior arrangement has helped me to stay here. Um, I plan to keep up at the Y as much as I can. Uh, the right group will always be important to me. And the synagogue, I'm an active member of Shomrei Amuna which is right down the block, and that gives me a lot of things to do and people to know and things to think about. As we get older, you know, we start to think about what's meaningful and how we want to live out our lives. Well, it's wonderful. You stay connected, you stay active, and you are resourceful, and that's a wonderful combination. Thank you. So thank you for being our Senior of the Month. Thank you for the honor. Thank you.